Praise the Lord Jesus. I am doing this because my heart is bleeding for Nigeria. Nigeria is the most populated black nation in the surface of the earth. Blessed with different mineral resources that when you look at it, there is no citizen that is supposed to be going through hard times. Nigeria is a land that is blessed with different graduates. Blessed with citizens that have a mind for growth. Nigeria is the giant of Africa. Located on the trigger in the map of Africa. Nigeria is looked upon as a great nation in Africa. Nigeria is a country that is blessed with wealth. But the question that runs across my mind is, is the wealth reaching everyone in the country? Nigeria is going through pains and hard times. The land is crying as the blood is speaking out to God, even in heaven. Nigeria is a land or has become a land where killing has become the order of the day. Corruption taking its root even in the country. I cry and weep for my nation, Nigeria. Nigeria has become a nation of mockery. A nation of hatred where people, or rather the citizens, kill themselves. How can we grow if we have all this in the nation? Nigeria has become that nation where dreams are terminated and destinies are aborted. Why are we doing this to ourselves? I have come today speaking from this platform to every Nigerian just like Nehemiah did in his own days where he called upon everyone in the country to come and build their country. I prayed a prayer to God long time ago instead of me being a complainer I want to be a solution giver. Nigeria can become a great nation again. And I believe that is the voice of many. That is what everyone is saying today. But the question is, can Nigeria become a great nation with the attitude we are having towards it today? Great Martin Luther King, he says something. I have a dream that one day, one day, there will be a black intellectual president, I believe. He had that dream. He walked on the dream. He passed on that dream. And today, Obama has become that dream that was dreamt a long time ago. But this wouldn't have been a reality if no one walked on that dream he had. So many citizens of the country, Nigeria today, they had a dream. They say forth that dreams, but immediately they say the dream out is killed. Even before anybody think about it. We cannot keep having dreams that are not being worked on. The Bible said, faith without works is dead. It is high time we stop saying things we are not willing to work on. Now this is to the student, 
to the religious leaders, to the political leaders, this is to the businessmen, company owners, workers, bankers, doctors, nurses, economists, accountants. This is even to the shoemakers. This is to the wheelbarrow pushers. This is to the drivers. We need to come together as one citizen to build our country. With the mineral resources that Nigeria is blessed with, we can become one of the richest country in the world. We have allies. We have countries that are business partners with the country, with our country Nigeria. Nigeria is a fertile land, and that is why we are attracting foreigners into our country to do business because they know once they plant it will grow and yield seeds what are we doing to our country today green represent fertility are we actually living in fertility of our land let us Upon the words that we speak. I am tired of hearing everyone saying. Nigeria will become a better country. Without acting upon those words. The question you must ask yourself today. What am I doing for the greatness of my country? We have Nigerians in diaspora. Nigerians in diaspora that is actually contributing to the well-being of other countries. Whereas we can do something for our country. <laughs> Nigeria, we are blessed. Nigerians, we are blessed. Nigerians, we are blessed. Let us stop wasting our resources on inconsequential things things that are not important things that are not needed and let us narrow down our resources in building the country when we talk about education we have education that is the first class education that can match up with any educational system in the world We have people that have high interest for technology, but yet we do not give them the opportunity to showcase what they have. Even if we don't have an educational system that can promote a world standard technology, why don't we send out those citizens that have interest overseas to learn technology and bring back to the country to help Nigeria grow. When we talk about trades, we can send people without politics to learn trades from overseas, to learn how to grow or build the economy. Why do we want to continue wasting our resources on things that is not needed. There is a prayer I pray to God and I continue to pray. God, do not give me what I want, but give me what I need. That is what Nigeria needs today. Stop wasting it, our resources on things, on things that are wanted by specific a, 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 a numbers of people and spend it on things that the country needs. Nigeria can rise up again and become the giant of Africa again. Nigeria can rise up again to become the elephant in the jungle. Nigeria can rise up again to become 
the king of the jungle. We have what it takes. I want you to understand, as I call upon you leaders, leaders politically and leaders religiously, it is easier to make boys than to make men. Let us focus on the growing people, people that are growing, the young folks. Let us educate them in making the country great. Educate them in fighting against corruption. Making them understand there is no need to kill ourselves. No matter what the religion is, we can come together as one nation to build the country. It makes me sad to see when the citizens of Nigeria with their green passports traveling overseas, they are mistreated because they come from the nation Nigeria. Now this is the, the, the giant of Africa. Now this is the most populated black nation in the surface of the earth. Nigeria has become a country that is being raped on a daily basis. Niger Nigeria, oh Nigeria, the giants of Africa. We can rebuild the nation. We can drive it to a better place. If we have the right attitude. Let us forget about our enriching our own selves. To enrich the nation. It is not a difficult thing to do because when Nigeria becomes great, you as a leader will benefit from it. Let us not continue to chase away the brains of Nigeria as they go in search for a greener pasture. Why don't we make Nigeria a greener pasture place for people to come and seek refuge. Because Nigeria is blessed. No one can come out of Nigeria today and say Nigeria is not blessed. Nigeria is blessed. I call upon you. Educate, educate, educate the young people. Let there be a great opportunity for our people. Cars can be made in our country. Technology can be, Nigeria can be a country of high technology. Computers can be made in our country. Cell phones can be made in our country. Let us come together because we have what it takes to make Nigeria great. God bless you.